Good morning everyone. I hope you are all really well. A very warm welcome to my channel. Today is Monday the 21st I think of November. It's really cold. It was one degree on the school run this morning. Um, yeah, very, very different to how it was last week. I really need to vlog today. I need to do it for myself to get myself back on track. So the weekend has been disastrous in terms of eating. Yesterday was great. We had a family day at my sister-in-law's house. We had a lovely meal and just spent the afternoon together and it was really lovely and I had planned for that. So that was already scheduled into my week for Slimming World. And I knew that, you know, I was gonna give myself yesterday. But Friday night, Saturday, yeah, it's just been a bit disastrous. I have got some things weighing on my mind and I do need to kind of start dealing with those. And I think that every week that goes by, just kind of the pile of weight in my mind just gets bigger and yeah, I feel like this weekend I've I've done a lot of emotional eating, to be honest. I haven't emotional, emotionally ate for a while. And I need to kind of knock it on the head today. So I thought I would vlog and just kind of get myself back on track. It really helps if I feel because I'm accountable for what I'm eating. I just feel like I want to rein it in. So yeah, and my son injured himself in his sleep last night he fell out of bed and hit his head on something i don't know what i presume it's the uh ikea unit next to his bed and uh, he's got a little cut on the top of his head which he started to complain about on when it was time to go to school so he was fine this morning and then when it was time to go to school he started complaining about it saying it hurt and he didn't he wasn't going to go to school so i had a little bit of a stressful morning I have taken him to school and uh, the, lo the lovely lady in the office is um, fully aware she's taken him into his class and they'll let me know if there's any problems but you know it's just a bit of a stress isn't it and a, and a bit of a worry I'm sorry if the camera's shaking let me just try and steady it also I don't feel great I think I might be getting a bit of a cold so that doesn't help does it <laughs> so anyway I've just made a coffee used my Tassimo decaf Americano pods and a splash of milk for my healthy extra air allowance i've used 200 mils of whole milk for that and so i'm just going to drink this coffee and then i'm going to head out to do our grocery shopping i need to go to aldi and i have to tackle christmas today start getting some christmas stuff sorted because i'm really running out of time to get organized for that so yeah anyway i thought if anyone else was in the same position struggling a little bit then we can work through this together and just thought this might help someone else who may be feeling the same. So I'm going to sit here, drink my coffee, get today's grocery haul uploaded and yeah, then I will catch up with you shortly. Right, so I'm back from Aldi and it's half past 12 already. The days just literally fly by. Um, excuse any mess you might see in the background. I am just upside down in the house at the moment. Um, I thought I would just quickly show you a couple of really cool things because you might not watch my grocery hauls. I thought I would just show you a couple of cool things that um, I picked up today. So I got this um, gin liqueur. Actually, it's better if I spin it round actually. So yeah, I got this gin liqueur and it's got all the gold in it so it's like a little snow globe i know they were selling these in marks and spencers i don't know if they are this year um i haven't really looked but they were about 20 pounds i think this one was 13.99 and it has got a light switch on the bottom i just think that is so beautiful the light is so bright so yeah i picked that up for my niece for her christmas present and then this is my gonk jar i keep talking about in my grocery hauls I'm gradually filling it up. Well, it's nearly full now, actually. So I got this gonk jar from B&M. And I've just been buying the little chocolates. So I bought two nets last week and two nets today. And yes, yeah, it's, it's almost filled it up, look. Probably got another net I can fit in there. And then I'll need some spares to refill it. But yeah, it's really cool. I'm going to put this in my dining room because our dining room... 
Well, our dining room is a bit of a like, it's a mixture. It's got our fridge freezer in it. So that kind of, um, you know, sets off the decor. <laughs> and I've got like some drawers, plastic drawers, which we store the kids color and stuff in. So it's not a particularly aesthetically pleasing room, but everything is kind of gray um, in there. So I thought this would just look really, really nice. And I do put a Christmas tree in there as well. I would show you, but it's absolutely upside down. So I'm not gonna do that. But anyway, they are my two little cool bits I wanted to share with you. So yeah, they're the bits that I bought from Aldi and I haven't been hungry. I haven't eaten anything today yet, but I haven't been hungry at all until now. So yeah, I find that if I've had a couple of days where I've not been eating great, then I'd sort of reach this point like today where I'm just not hungry. So yeah, I'm hungry now though. So when I was in Aldi, I picked up like um, a box of stir fry veg. So I'm gonna make that. So I will spin you around and show you what I'm gonna have. Right, so I picked up this mixed pepper stir fry from Aldi. I think this is pretty much all speed food in there. I got some corn pieces, these are sim free. I will just season those with some Cajun seasoning, which I've just picked up from Aldi. This is half a sin per a teaspoon. And some soy sauce, which actually barely got any left. So hopefully I'm just gonna get enough out of this for lunch. Then I will season the veg and everything with whatever is left from the sea sauce. Sea sauce. <laughs> soy sauce and some chili and smoked paprika this is actually one sin per teaspoon but i literally just use a sprinkle so i'm just going to count half a sin for this today because i probably won't even use a teaspoon of this cajun then i'm going to add some chili noodles from marks and spencers these are an open packet that i've got in the cupboard i think i might have run out of these now i think i might need to restock they're one pound a pack and they are sin free the nests are really really generous in size so you just need one nest and yeah, they're really delicious. They just have this very mild chili flavor. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop all this together and that will be lunch. And here is my stir fry. Sorry for the steam, that's making it very hard to see. The lighting is also terrible. But yeah, I've got the stir fry veg, the corn pieces and the noodles. I'm gonna count half a sin for this. And yeah, it's gonna be my lunch today. Oh my goodness, the weather has turned awful. So I've had to leave really super early to go out on the school run because I've had to bring the car. And you have to leave about half an hour earlier than when I'm walking if I'm driving to get a space anywhere near the school. So I went to Home Bargains and I did a little bit of Christmas shopping. Although most of the stuff I bought was sweets and chocolate for like stockings and stuff and some little bits for my husband and some home decor and I really wanted to film a haul but obviously with the rain being so bad I didn't have time and it's so dark anyway in the house that it's just not good lighting I hope you can hear me over the rain because <laughs> it is so bad um so yeah anyway I went to home bargains and then I've had to come basically straight to school um, I was trying to get an elf, but that hasn't happened. So I need to get an elf pronto because I suspect they're probably all selling out now. I kind of thought it was earlier in November and then it just dawned on me today that it, it is like towards the end of the month now. So I've kind of left things and now I'm rushing. So yeah, I need to get an elf sorted. And yeah, I haven't done everything I wanted to do, but at least I've made a start. So yeah, anyway, I'm feeling a little bit brighter now than I was this morning, which is good. I can't wait to see the boys. I just want to make sure that my oldest is okay. And yeah, so I will catch up with you again when we're home. So we are now home from school. It's 10 to four and oh my goodness. I know I keep talking about the weather, but it is grim out there and it's freezing. It's 15 degrees in the house. Well, according to our weather station which to be fair the thermometer is not in the most appropriate place really but it's fairly good actually um so it's saying it's 15 degrees i'm gonna try and keep the heating off until this evening because once i start cooking i've got to use the oven tonight and things like that we will warm up and then near bedtime i'll put the heating on for half an hour and just give us a burst but yeah this whole energy prices thing is a real worry, isn't it? And I'm literally like bare minimum heating usage in our house 
at the moment. So, but it is freezing, it's seven degrees outside. But because when we were walking around the school and the wind was whipping across and it was just, it felt icy. Anyway, we're home, the kids are chilling out. They've got their little treat that I bought them from Aldi. I got them some, I got them a chocolate lolly each, a Christmas themed chocolate lolly. So they're tucking into that. They're watching some Thomas and just having some chill time. I've just made a drink and I've just come in the lounge. I need to do a little bit of um, tidying in here because it's an absolute tip, as is the rest of my house at the moment. I'm just chasing my tail constantly with housework. That's what it's like with kids, isn't it? Anyway, I've got a snack. I've got an easy peeler, which I am trying to increase my speed intake. So I'm going to eat a little bit more fruit because this has really dropped off the radar recently because it's just been so cold. So I'm going to have an easy peeler. And then keeping on the orange theme, I've made a hot chocolate. I know you can't see um, a hot chocolate, an options hot chocolate. It's a chocolate orange one. So that's one and a half sins. So I measured out 11 grams of powder, which is one and a half sins. And I've topped it up, boiling water and some milk from my Healthy Extra A allowance. And so I'm going to drink that just in case anyone is on the lookout for options. I did a little check last night and Tesco's and Morrison's both have it on half price, I think it is. So I think it's £2.25 a tub instead of £4.50. It's extortionately priced now, isn't it? £4.50 for a tub. I can't get over it, honestly. I literally can't get over it. So I might have to go to Tesco's. I think it's on offer until the beginning of December. Come for my little girl, bless her. <laughs> um, come away from my hot chalk and we'll get her cat hair in it so yeah um, I think it's on offer until the beginning of December if you're on the lookout for some options then now's a really good time to get it if you can get to Tesco's or Morrison's okay so at the weekend I made a bean veggie sort of chilli in the slow cooker and this really needs to be used up actually i made it on friday so this really needs to be used up so in here i've got a tin of mixed beans in water a tin of butter beans a tin of chopped tomatoes a carton of passata a chopped up red pepper a chopped up red onion and some chili powder some possibly some oregano and some smoked paprika i think so i'm just going to reheat this and then I'm going to pop this with some of this NZ Harriet roasted vegetable couscous. I really fancy this and it's been in the cupboard for a while actually. And I, I was eating it quite a bit in the summer, but I haven't had it for a while. It's one and a half sins for the packet and it is just really, really tasty. It's got a really nice flavour. So I'm going to add this and then some veggies on the side. And here is tonight's dinner. So I've got the couscous, the bean chilli, broccoli and carrots. Such a wholesome meal on such a rainy, miserable evening. <laughs> so I'm off to enjoy dinner. Right, so we're gonna have a little evening snack tonight. I've got this yogurt, which I bought a few weeks ago that needs to be used up. So I'm gonna have a little bit of this. It's fat-free Greek style yogurt from Sainsbury's Natural Yogurt. So I'm gonna have a few spoons of that in the bowl with some blackberries. I had to pop into Tesco's at the weekend just to grab some stuff for the get together at my sister-in-law's yesterday. And I really fancy some blackberries. So yeah, I picked some of their Rose Dean Farms blackberries up. And actually while I'm talking about Tesco's, while I was there, I also picked up this Mango Zero. It's like a fizzy mango drink. And oh my goodness, it is delicious. It is a bit of a summer drink in all honesty, but it literally is just like drinking fizzy mango. <laughs> so good and it's sin free. So I thought I'd just share that with you. I'm also gonna make a hot chocolate. So I'm gonna use the salted caramel options. This is one and a half cents for 11 grams. And I'll add a dash of milk for my Healthy Extra A choice out of that because I haven't used hardly any of my Healthy Extra A choice today. So this is my evening snack. Apologies for the really terrible lighting. So I've got my blackberries, my yogurt, which is sin free. And my one and a half sin hot chocolate. So yeah, I'm gonna go and chill out, watch I'm a Celeb and have my snacks. So it's now 10.30, I am shattered. I am going to bed so much later. Now I'm watching I'm a Celeb, honestly. I'm almost looking forward to it finishing on Sunday so that I can just start having earlier nights again. So I'm finishing today on Six Sins and I feel so much more positive now. So I feel like I'm on the right track now for a good few days. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I can literally be so motivated. And then within like 24, 48 hours, 
I've just literally gone the complete opposite way. I don't know. I don't know how I do that. But yeah, it's just really important to kind of just draw that line. And it doesn't matter how many times you have to draw the line. It doesn't matter how many days you've been, you know, a bit off track, whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter. As long as you just address it and just acknowledge it and just say, right, I'm ready to move on now and then start again and just keep starting again as many times as you need to. That's what I'm doing. And so far it's working. So as it stands at the moment, I intend to have a 100% week until my weigh in on Thursday. And I'm really going to do everything in my power to achieve that. And I think that just achieving a 100% day has actually made me feel loads better. So yeah, I know how good it feels when I get to the end of the day and I can I can hand on heart say I've been 100% and yeah, it does, it does make me feel good. So anyway, I'm going to thank you all so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.